To start this look, you want to take your NYX Jumbo Pilsen in the shade Milk. Now, you can use your primer if you want to, but I feel like I needed a white base specifically because I'm working with color. So, I'm going to put that all over my lid, and then I'm going to use my Morphe Palette's White Shadow to set that so that it won't crisp on my lid. Okay, so if you follow me on Twitter, then you know you've seen my little rant about these brushes. Now, I know you're like, if you don't like them brushes, then why are you using it? Basically, this brush is only good to set this white shadow. Like, blending, it's not good. It, it, it picks up the shadow, but once you flick it off to um, alleviate some of the products, it's completely gone off the brush. Now, don't get me wrong, not all BH Cosmetics brushes are like this because I absolutely love the Stutter Couture set and I still use that to this day. But the Crystal Quartz brush, I don't like it. Not one bit. For this look, I'm going to be using multiple palettes. So to start off, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette, and I'm going to be using the shade Cairo, which is right here. So I'm going to take this shadow in my crease just a little bit, mainly focusing a little bit above my crease. You want it in there, but you mainly want it above the crease. This is going to be your transition color. brown color, this is the shade Florida. jumbo pencil and we're gonna carve out our crease now I use my finger to do this part because I feel like I get a better precision because how the creaminess works I feel like I get it better with my finger so I'm gonna use my finger for this part but you can use a brush Next, I'm taking my Juvia's Play Zulu palette in a flat synthetic shader brush and I'm going to dip it into this yellow shade right here. Next, I am taking this orange shade and I'm going to place it right next to the yellow. But what you want to do is you want to overlap it just a little bit so that you cannot tell where the yellow starts and I mean, where the yellow ends and where the orange starts.
Next, I'm going back into my Chocolate Buns Buns palette and I'm going to once again dip them to Bordeaux. And I'm going to put that right next to the orange once again overlapsing each other. Next, I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil, and this one is the Black Bean, and I'm going to use that in the outer V of my eye just to make that black pop. I want it to have like a black base so the black can really just stand out. And I'm setting that with a black shadow. And I'm using Cole from Morphe. I'm going to clean up my face just a little bit and then I'm going to add my comeback on and add my liner. Next, I'm taking my Kat Von D Trooper Liner and I'm going to wing out my liner. Next, I'm going to take my e.l.f. brush and outline it with my e.l.f. glitter primer and make like a double glitter liner. Boom. Some in that category. You're you going to see. You're going to see what I'm talking about. I promise. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Voila, there you have it. Double wing liner with glitter. Now I'm going to clean up my face, finish it, and then I'll be back on camera to finish the bottom part of my eyes. Next, I'm going to dip back into Cairo and put that under our waterline. Then we're going to go right under that with Bordeaux. For our inner tear ducts, we're going to go in with this rose gold shade from the Zulu palette. We're also going to use that to highlight and highlight our highest points of the cheekbones and our eyebrows. Okay, so I had on another lip shade, but I realized that's not the lip shade that I was looking for. So the right one is, 
I love Sad Eye and ColourPop's collaboration, and this is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Mamacita. So here is the finished look that we created. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys learned something from it. It's not as hard as it looks like it is. It is a very simple look. Now, I would prefer that you guys maybe possibly put on some um, much less dramatic eyelashes. But I couldn't find any of my less dramatic eyelashes. So I just went ahead on with these. I paired this look with a dark lip. You can always go lighter with a nude to keep it toned down just a little bit. If it's too bold for you, you can always exchange the look. You can make it older if you want to, but I feel like this one was pretty much appropriate for the look and just enough pile to emphasize the eye. But if you want to make sure that you're showing off your glitter for your double wing liner, then most definitely wear some lashes that are less dramatic. And also for the highlight, I want the look to be focused on the eyes and not the highlight. So this time I used a toned down, more toned down highlight than normal because you know I like the bling bling. But <laughs> for this look, it's all about the eyes. So I used something very simple and muted but still pretty and able to see. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me create this look. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate every thumbs up that you guys give me. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave because if you don't, you know, I'm going to have to see you. So I'm going to need you to press that subscribe button somewhere down on your screen. And also, you can follow me on my social medias. I'll have them down below and show them right, right here on this screen right here. And um, leave a comment for what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.